Genesis 28 and 10. Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran. So he came to a certain place, stayed there all night because the sun had set. He took one of the stones of that place, placed it at his head, and he lay down in a place of sleep. Genesis 28 and 12. He dreamed a dream. And behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and its top reached heaven, and there were angels of God ascending and descending. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, the father, the God of Isaac, the land which you lie. I will give it to you and your descendants. Now, how many of you know you are Abraham's seed, heirs according to the prophets? So, according to the promise. So, therefore, you're the descendants God is talking about. So, God said, I'm going to give your descendants this land where you stand. Now, what was God talking about? He wasn't talking about a geographically located piece of property, He was talking about a place that connected heaven and earth. And the scripture says he saw angels, did he say ascending and descending? Is that what your Bible says? He said, behold, he saw the angels ascending and descending. Now, this is the word of the Lord for this house. He didn't see them descending and ascending, right? Y'all with me? He saw them ascending and descending. So whoever these angels, whoever these messengers were, weren't coming from heaven, they were coming from earth. He said, I saw angels and they were ascending and descending. Let me prophetically tell you something and hold this in your heart. This is going to be a place of ascending and descending. This is going to be a people that will walk between the worlds of the visible and the invisible. This will be a place where the messengers in this house will ascend into the heights of their God and descend and minister to the dope addict. Amen. Ascend into the heights of their God and descend and minister to the alcoholic, the abused, the molested. This will be a place that walks in between the worlds. This will be a place of supernatural visitations. Now, Jesus got crucified for walking between the worlds because he came to fulfill the law, but yet to bring in grace. So he walked between law and grace and he got crucified for it. So I'm, I'm not telling you what you're going to have here is going to be that easy. I'm just telling you that this is a place where you're going to move in the high places of God and then meet creation at wherever creation needs to be met at. Paul said, I become all things to all men that I might win some. He said, if you need for me to be a Jew, I can be a Jew. If you need for me to be a Methodist, I can be a Methodist. He said, I can do all things through Christ. So what does he say? He said, I saw the angels ascending and descending. Uh, and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I'm the Lord God of Abraham, your father, the God of Isaac. The land which you stand, I'll give to you and your descendants. Also, your descendants shall be of the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad from the east, the west, the north, the south. In you and in all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what you have spoken. Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I did not know it. Let me prophetically tell you, Jacob said, Surely this is the gate of heaven. Can I prophetically tell you that God is invisible? He is spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But God has always had places on the earth that connect to heaven. God has always had caretakers of places that cause the heavens to open up over a whole city. God has always had geographically located places where he meets with the people for supernatural manifestation. Jacob said, God was here and I didn't even know it. 
Can I prophetically tell you, you have a door, a gateway here that you have not even known about. And just as surely as I stand here, the people in this house will uh, move in the high places of God and then come down to wherever they need to come down to to meet the needs of creation in this area. Because I don't know about y'all, it might just be me, uh, but I like all this spooky stuff. Do y'all? I mean, uh, you know, as long as I don't start mixing Kool-Aid or nothing, I know we ain't going to do none of that. But don't you believe we're supposed to walk in a different place than we're walking? And don't you believe uh, when we go in the grocery store that the move of God's supposed to move through the grocery store and heal people? Uh, uh, don't you believe that we're every bit as good as Peter was? And if Peter's shadow can heal, don't you believe ours is supposed to? Don't you believe that, that Paul was no better than we are when he took aprons off his own body and passed them through the multitude for healing? Don't you believe that just like the men of old walked in the things of God, don't you believe that Jesus said, the things that I do shall you do also and greater than these shall you do because I go to the Father, amen? So there are places that God has designated to be, we're going to look this up on the map because there's something that crosses here, an energy line or something. I don't exactly know what all that is. But there's a line that crosses here. There are places designated where the heavens are open. Now, Jesus talked to Nathaniel, and he said in John chapter 1, verse 46, Nathaniel said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Nathanael's meeting Jesus. Philip says to him, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, behold, an Israelite in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, how do you know me? And Jesus answered and said, before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, teacher, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. He said to him, Most surely I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. So we know that the ladder that Jacob saw was Christ. And we know that there are designated places to ascend and descend. There are designated places. There are designated uh, location that God meets with man and does supernatural things. And a lot of times I had read this as the angels of God, but whoever the angels or the messengers are, they're coming from the earth and ascending into heaven. They're not coming from heaven and descending to the earth. They're ascending and descending. Can I prophetically tell you, and I, I'm serious as I can be, Scotty is about to beam y'all up. <laughs> supernatural. I'm not talking about craziness now. Supernatural visitation is going to rest in this house supernatural intercession. You, you, you had a taste of it Friday, I believe. Supernatural intercession is going to rest in this house because God has designated this to be a place where the heavens open and that you move in the high places of God and then descend and minister to creation wherever they're hurting at. Going to have all kinds of people here. Because the heavens are going to have all kinds of crazy people here. Because the heavens are open. And people will know that God rests here. Is that okay? Amen. So get ready. Uh, uh, lay aside every weight. Any grave clothes. Anything. Any relationship. 2012 is a year to come into the kingdom of God afresh and anew. Without uh, leech relationships that drain the blood out of you without crazy people that just, uh, that just wear you out. It's the season to let go of stuff. 
and come into 2012 ready, not just for a visitation, but to be a visitation. There are visitations and then there are people that become visitations to other people. Is that all right? Amen. Lift your hand up. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. And we say, Father, you have designated this house as a place of visitation, as a place where the heavens are continuously open, as a place where, God, we can move in the heights of our God and descend to wherever creation, all the way into hell, wherever creation is, we can descend, take our authority, and pull people into the kingdom. Father, we thank you for a supernatural manifestation of your grace and your mercy and for the anointing of God supernaturally resting in this house. Let this house be a house like no other. And Father, we will bless you and we will thank you for it in Jesus' name.